Alright, welcome back at long last to this area, the place that I mistakenly called a football stadium at one point. You know what's dumb is I, I instantly knew what it was. I saw the shape of it, I saw the lights, I saw the diamond. Instantly know that it's obviously a freaking baseball place, but I immediately called it- I think I just am used to saying the words football and stadium together. I'm not really- I don't really spec watch any spectator sports, but that's just kind of what I defaulted to. So I'm here to deal with this devil's do. I can come here to return the, uh, complete the delivery. I believe that's back towards my objective, so this must be where it was being taken to. Let's go investigate. Howdy, y'all. Also, I've of course stashed my equipment somewhere else. Oh, there's the robot they were talking about in the diary. I mean, the, the recording. I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. You waiting on a delivery? Of some death claw eggs, maybe? What are you... Oh, the eggs. Oh, you must be with those, uh, gunny people. Though your superior had implied there would be more of you, but... Oh, no matter. The negotiated fee was 200 caps per egg. A generous amount indeed, considering your... tardiness. Though our clientele do expect nothing short of the most pristine Deathclaw eggs. Now, do you have something for me? What exactly are you planning to do with the eggs? Our plans for the eggs are none of your concern. Now, are you going to hand them over or not? What you're offering's not enough. I risked life and several limbs to deliver this. Fine, fine. Three hundred caps. Well above market value. Come on, you can do better than that. You wouldn't want people thinking you're cheap. All right, 400. Whatever it takes to get you on your way. A lot of folks died bringing you this delivery. Their deaths really mean that little to you? Oh, very well. 500. But not a cap more. Now, the eggs. Holy shit, that one worked too. <laughs> What exactly are you planning to do with the eggs? Our plans for the eggs are none of you. Alright, well I tried. Here, take it. At last. But is this it? Where are the rest? All the others made the trip up to that big deathclaw nest in the sky. That's so. I suppose this will have to do. Yeah, for a less than adequate job, but job nonetheless. And the special request your superior made? Major Jeffries, was it? I trust you can get this to its destination. Don't just go waving it around willy-nilly. Well, again, has my lunch finally arrived? Oh, yes, sir. Endless apologies for the ludicrous... Oh, I don't object to you outsiders you coming up here, but taste. must you, you insist on speaking now. to me? Excuse me. You bore me. That's all there is to it. Alright, that's not going anywhere then. Hi. Deathclaw Omelette. Meal of Kings. So he's the one that ordered that. And pickpocket. Ooh, he's got a key. I should really quick save before I do this. Because this goes poorly for me if they spot me. Hey, stop looking at me for a second. Oopsie. Hidden, there we go. Codman residence key. Okay. That's okay. I'm not that good at pickpocketing. Hang on a second. So the reward we ended up getting was Wellington's recipe. Bidibidoom, Deathclaw Egg a la Wellingham. A masterwork by Wellingham of the Diamond City Wellinghams. Yield two servings. Ingredients one tato, peeled, diced, sauteed. One deathclaw egg, beaten. One vessel water, unpurified, for flavor. Not much of a recipe. Alright. So does that come up with a quest? At this point is what I'm wondering. Quests. Raider Troubles, right, they, I need to go talk to Preston about the fact that I did that. But I don't think... Yeah, none of this looks like it has to do with uh, more stuff here. So I think at long last I'm going to follow up on... Let's see, Piper specifically. 
I have two quests that currently tell me to go to t talk to Piper because we actually never met with her after she got me in here. But the uh, two separate pieces have told me told me to go back. What? Probably nothing. I'm sorry. What? They're telling me to go to two different locations. They're both here though, right? It's weird how it Somebody says to, to meet with Piper, but oh, both of the waypoints tell me to go to different locations. That's that's strange because sh Piper should be in one place. Everyone who's anyone reads public occurrences. Oh yeah, she should be she should be right in here. So we're gonna go ahead and finally follow up on the main story for the first time in a long time. I think it's been a while. Done a lot of questing here and there. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there, or we can head out together. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Alright, so there we go. Getting started on a quest called Dangerous Minds. Nick's off to meet at the Memory Den. Dogbeat's going off to Sanctuary, because now I'm going, gripping with Piper. I kind of just figured, hey, might as well bring... Hmm. What's that for? Really, Piper? I'm stealing from your apartment. Because it doesn't count as being stealing, apparently. 
but you're like, what's that for? And it's like, it's 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 in your house. You had it for on purpose. You you had it on purpose. Shouldn't really be a question at that point. But you're a party member, so it counts as being my objects, I guess, or something like that. Coca Cola, canned dog food, suspenders, and slacks. You may have noticed that I'm wearing the military fatigues, because I found out they give me one strength and one agility. Which is pretty decent as far as upgrades go, considering it's a layer of equipment that basically doesn't give you stats for the most part. It's Piper's Terminal. Bobby Pin. Ooh, Stimpaks. Fantastic. I'll give you your interview in a moment. I just want to steal all your shit real quick. Hope you don't mind. Bobby pin box. Fantastic. Alright. Let's go ahead and investigate Piper's little computer here. Article. The, synth the synthetic truth. Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. We already read the story. Alright. Reader complaints file. Honor the wall. Public occurrences complaint log. Date 215. In your most recent edition, your paper failed to acknowledge in any way the contribution of the mighty wall in the defense of our town against last month's super attacks. Super mean attacks. I find this extremely offensive and will not be purchasing another copy until such disrespect is publicly corrected. Published response. We honor the efforts of all those involved in the defense of our great city, from our valiant guards to the mighty wall. Personal response. Dear whack job, two members of Diamond City Security died defending this town. Where was your hunk of plywood for them? <laughs> that she reads, she she sends mean comments to the actual individual. I wonder if she actually sends them or if it's just for her own benefit. Uh, 414, I find the choice of topic sad. How about happy story? Maybe something about nice bar. Published response, thank you for your feedback. Our stories are selected for relevance and importance to the Diamond City populace. Personal response, Vadim, no story about your bar is going to end happily. <laughs> so they're definitely being- I think I think they are being sent to people. For shame. 1001. Your paper is just trying to drum up fears about synths to increase sales. You should be ashamed of yourself. Published response. Thank you for your concern. Our paper makes significant efforts to ensure all of our stories are accurate and free from editorializing. Personal response. Thank you for your concern. I hope you get snatched. Alright, so she's very friendly and getting along great with people. Public Perspectives Archive. Paramours. Dear public, I am torn between two loves. On one hand, I have my profession. Every moment I spend with the young up-and-comers for whom I work be, uh, brings such joy. On the other hand, I have my co-worker, wise, patient, debonair. Many, subject, uh, many suggest I am not lively enough for him, but I can picture life with no other. I love, I long to confess my feelings for him, but my life is my work. Trying to add a relationship, it would simply shortchange everyone. I must choose public, but who? Paramours. Love, pair. Love is, uh, dear pair. Love is rare. Two? Doubly so. Make it work, pair. You work in the same building for sh shucks shake. Shucks sake. So these are text responses, basically. Teen troubles. Dear public, me and my little girl have been on our own for a long time now. She's the most important thing in my life, but lately it seems like she's not as interesting in interested in hanging out with her pa. I understand she's got to grow up someday, but I'm not ready to let her go. What do I do to make sure I don't lose my little girl? Teen Troubles. Dear Troubles, your girl's becoming her own person. Let her make decisions. Screw up. Maybe throw some extra craps her way so she can take her friends out for noodles more often. Then, when she's ready, she'll come to you. It's, a, it's, a, it's an advice column. Desperate in Diamond City. Dear public, I've been living in Diamond City for years now, but I've never been able to, live, uh, to land a girlfriend. And double spacing. I wear nice clothes and give them free drinks, but they just seem to think that I'm some sort of creep. My boss says I've got a face only a mother could love, and I think he's right. I feel like I'm only I'm out I'm out of options. Public, should I take the plunge and change my face? Desperate in Diamond City. Dear Desperate, ever tried talking to these girls? You should give it a go. No more trying to buy your way into affection. You need to earn it. Sleepwalking on the beat. I got this job. It pays the bills, but lately, it's making it so that I can't sleep at night. Things have been so tense. I'm getting worried that if something doesn't change, I might slip up and get myself or someone hurt. Any advice, public? Sleeping, sleepwalking on the beat. Dear Beat, 
Sounds like you need to relax more. I know after a hard day solving other people's problems, I like to grab a Nuka Cola, pull out a stack of comics, and read till I pass out. Give it a try. Alone in the upper stands. Dear public, I could use a friend. Everyone in the town is either jealous of me or afraid of me because of how I look or who I work for. I'm not willing to comp uh, to compromise who I am just so people will like me more, but just get so lonely. But you seem like a smart gal, public. Any chance you want to grab a drink sometime? Alone in the upper stands. Dear alone, going to have to take a rain check on that drink, but your instincts are good. New friends crop up in the most unlikely places. You just need to search for them out. I wonder. Alone in the upper stands. What if that person is the, uh, receptionist we met upstairs? Who knows? Is there... Said, oh, it was load, it was load holotape that I have. It wasn't load, it was, didn't have to do with the holotapes. There's not, there's not one currently in there. All right, Piper. Where you at? Hey. Just let me know. I was trying to talk to you a second ago. Nope, stop moving out of my cursor. Piper. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. <laughs> Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Gonna be like that, huh? Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Sarcastic is such a weird response, just because you literally don't know what your response is going to be at the hey. time. Hmm? Hey, Piper. Ready for that interview, Blue? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue. You haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks again. Her whole interview has three questions in it. Okay, three questions. Weird. Don't know how much that's going to amount to. Oh well. We've got things to deal with though, so let's, let's head forward on that. So, what up Diamond Big City? Loud. Watch officials your back. and brown citizens. Right behind you. But it's home. Nice of you all to talk over each other. Alright, so. Current objective. Where in the world is it located? Is it not? I'm not. Okay, maybe I have, I have to select the quest real quick. Dangerous Minds. There we go. Talk to Dr. Amari. Which is out here. A good neighbor. 
which I have not been to before, as expected. I have I been to Park Street? Yes. I've been very close before. We got pretty close when we were, last time we went through exploring the area, so this shouldn't be too bad of an area. Alright, we're here. Definitely familiar territory. Oh yeah. We've, I think we've had our fair share, share of uh, ghoul encounters around here, actually. Now I've got Piper around, so she's gonna have all these quippy Ooh, moments. We're walking right into Boston Commons. People don't come back from here. Like I said, she immediately started having quips. Something's walking over here. Is it human or zombo? Oh, it's a zombo. Oh. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. Excuse me. This place looks populated. Got him. Making a mess. Oop. Oh. <laughs> Stick your head out directly in front of my attack. It's a good idea. Just figured I'd clear some of these guys out. Ooh, they got valuables on them. Why would they be hanging out in a graveyard? They're not zombies. Even if I call them that sometimes. Ooh, a body. Maybe that's why. Skull bandana. Put that on my dog. You can keep the rest, I think. Thin beaker. Why do you have a... It's a weird thing. I guess he was probably a chem dealer or something. But yeah, I'm using... I don't know if I said this already, but I'm using the armor, f the army fatigues now because my my previous road leathers gave me, I believe, two damage resistance, which is not that much in the grand scheme of things, but this new chest piece gives me one agility and one strength, which seems like a decent amount. All right, so this apparently this whole place is pretty dangerous. Now we've got super mutants on our tail. I'd like to at least get to our objective this episode. Might take my time and fight a few things along the way. As you do in this game. Hello. Hello, raider. Oopsie. Awkward. Awkward. This works way better when I actually shoot him in the face. Like so. Oh. Who's a durable one that I apparently can't hit from here? Got him. Hit. What you got over here? Short rifle. Ooh, a stim pack. Cool. Flight helmet. That's interesting. I don't have one of those yet. I want to take a look at those. So my objective... Oh, what are you fighting? What are you fighting? I'm helping you out here. Not really sure how she got down there, though. All right. There we go. How'd you get down there, Piper? You're in the wrong place. Piper Chapman. That my objective... My objective's over there. Don't... Oh! Hello, raiders. Alright. Let's go ahead and switch to a proper weapon. What's my new one look like? Is it... I'm hitting one? No, two. This is the new powerful one. Hey, guys. How you doing? Take this guy out. Bam. Sweet crit, bro. Alright. Having a little time aiming through this gun when the gun is invisible. I made it work, though. Sweet ammo. Alright. So this is my new upgraded weapon we found in that previous area. I think it's going to do well. Because that guy just got wrecked. There's also a freaking super mutant somewhere around here that just does not see me yet. See up here? You hanging out in this building over here? He sees me. At, oh god. Oh, maybe he might even be he might not be fighting me. He might just be fighting Piper actually. Where is oh, there he is? Oops. Let's go for that sweet headshot. Come on. Come on. There we go. You got more of you down there? Who's there? Where are the rest of you at? Must have been nothing. Says I'm in danger from someone. 
up over here, apparently. Where is he? Hey, Piper, how you doing? Oh, someone there. I got a nickname. Stupid noises. Not a very high hit chance. I'm gonna have to try to just actually get the hot shot legitimately. If you can stop moving for a second. Nope, not quite. Not quite. Stop you stop hiding. Come back over here. Got him. 19. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and pick a, a level up then. Oh, my sneaking upgrades aren't up to date. I'm gonna have to go for that then. Absolutely. My bad. What's the next level cost? Let's see, that's level 12. Next one's 23. Okay. Yeah, I, did, I didn't have the, the. I wasn't updated up to date on sneaking. I could have gotten this point seven levels ago. Whoopsie. All right, where are you baddies at? There's still one of you nearby. I'm about to fall. Kind of want to check out that building. Also, kind of want to see where this elevator takes, though. So, let's, uh, am I stuck now? Oh no. I might be stuck. Uh, there we go. Alright, that was weird. Elevator, do you go up or down? It's a little weird how you can't tell in this game. Uh oh. Alright. I'm gonna go meet some super mutants then. Wait, how far down are we going? Oh, I'm inside the structure now. Oh, how'd you- Piper. I took the secret alternate path. Call it the Matrix. Bridge door. Not much going on here. Nothing looks super interesting so far. Vodka. Ooh. I can do advanced. There we go. Not even one bobby pin broken that nice. time. Cool. Keep you out. No, you can't. Oh, wait. That door was... That door... <laughs> that, that was really stupid. <laughs> that door didn't lead to a room. That was... That was not worth lockpicking. Alright, it happens. Still get experience for it, right? I think I did. Blood pack. Cool. Alright, I don't think anyone's been in here lately, so I think we're pretty much safe to... Explore at our own pace. Racket track advertisement. The October Classic, 2077. Easy City Downs. Fallon's Department Stores, the Boston Jockey Tr Club, three world-class races with a total purse of 450000 All right. That... Oh, cool. Got a map update from that. That's the main thing. Is that the location that it was talking about is now on my map. Brahman School, you can keep that. All righty. All righty. So, Piper, do you have... Lim I do. So she doesn't have a weapon in her inventory right now. Let's see. Probably have a cool weapon somewhere, right? Like this hunting rifle? Ooh, the laser pistol. Give her that. That thing's scary looking. Here. Can you use this? There you go. Yeah, make some make some use of that for a while. That'll be scary. Alright. Should probably get more use out of that. Is there something over here? Desk fan. That's probably good for some screws or something. Alright. Hopefully she'll be more helpful now. Alright, we're back outside. My objective's still nearby. I'm just kind of exploring some of these buildings, I guess. Seems to have been- oh, here's where the bodies were. That's where I shot one of them, the other one ran up here. Alright. Any more of you around here? Here's this dead guy. Automatic pipe rifle. Ah, it'll probably salvage for something. I don't know. I don't. I actually don't know if that's true. I just kind of ran. I just kind of assume that customized stuff might be worth more salvage, but I don't have any reason to think that. This looks like it's yeah, it's all dead end. All right, that's enough wandering around. Let's go find our way towards that objective again, which we kind of circumvented for a while. Oh, hello. That came as a bit of a surprise. I'll be honest. Okay, um, let's use the shotgun. Get out of here. Shotgun just seems, just feels right for the situation. Oh, hey, hey buddy. You look friendly. 
Um, don't mind me. Hit. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. You can just take a few headshots to the head. That'd be sweet. Oh, come on, man. There we go. That's close enough. Got him. Oh, that did not get him. Am I not shooting him in the face right now? Did he just lose track of me? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, here it comes. He looks he looks friendly. Come on. Really? There, fine. Give you one chance to prove yourself, Vats, and you're just gonna screw me. Alright. I'll take a cocktail. Molotovs are always my favorite. Get on that piper, you're fine. Alright, back to shotgun. Deal with these mole rats if there's any more of them. Irradiated blood, nuclear material, there we go. That was a bit of a double surprise to deal with both of those at the same time. Quick save in case we walk into like a mine or something. I think this is the look our destination though. Crap, this wall's in my way. Um I need a way through. There's no doors. Alright. I guess we're gonna have to awkwardly circumvent this building until I find a side that's not gated off like this. Kind of undoing all of the efforts I've gone into exploring so far. Alright, that's a dead end too. You're gonna make this difficult for me, aren't you? Ooh! Miss that's there. That's all around good news. Back in the main street. So we've gone in a big circle, by the way. There's, there's a cemetery. <laughs> Just in case you thought I might try to hide the fact that I was being an idiot, that's where we started, right there. That's the super mutant territory. Not, it's not the. Te oh, hello. Shit. You can't hide forever. Found him. Got him. A little hard to aim at the head with his weird uh, reticle, but I'll get used to it. Cause it is just two nails, it's just two screws pointing at each other, and when I'm crouching, it turns invisible. Which really only makes it harder to see. Shit. Got him. Got him that time. <laughs> Emotional outrage. Oopsie. There we go. Um, I'm gonna say no. Also, what other journalists exist in this world? Because I don't think a lot of them. I don't think a lot of people feel like they need to take the time to do this. Pocket watch. Gonna have to try to get some more sweet ammo, though. This is... What is my death? You gonna show me? We're in caution mode here. Let's see if I can make the... I think he's upstairs. That's why he can't see me. He's upstairs somewhere. This is door. Oh, hello. Someone there? <laughs> uh oh. Awkward. Awkward. All right. Really thought they're gonna be upstairs. Honestly. Got him. Took two shots that time. Do 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 do. <laughs> that dialogue is fantastic. Now suffer for your arrogance. Like he's doing a line read for a language he doesn't understand. <laughs> they like to play with that idea of having these supposedly idiot characters say. Next time you're in my next time I'm in your house, you should keep an eye on me. Bitch, I already stole stuff from your apartment. You were watching me. You were all like, what was that for? Oh. What does that item do that's in my house that I own in my house? You, you're, you're well off track at the moment. And I'm also still exploring every house except for the one that I'm actually here for. And I don't plan on changing that. Hello? Awkward walkways, do you lead to something, something cool? Not there. Aha! King of the world, top of the hill, all that stuff. At least to a side roof. Crate. Hey, grenades. Why not? Top of the vent. Wow. Some of these places just keep going, don't they? Alright. 
What do we got here? Raiders, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, nope. Cancel. Don't need to fight them right now. Mass fusion, though. That's another location. May need to clear out at some point. I'm more interested in this particular building, though. If I follow those guys, we're just gonna end up taking every single possible tangent. My current plan is just to check out the roof for any secret loot. There we go. There we go. 38 rounds. That's... Could use some th .308 rounds, though. Some upgraded weapons. Could probably use that shotgun to replace my current one. It's probably better than mine. It had a bunch of words in front of it. That's usually a good sign. But now we just need to make our way back to where we were trying to go in the first place. Before I find another distraction. Oop, here we go. Wait, this is underground, right? Nope, never mind. Got mixed up with the building we were in a second ago. Alright. Back to finding a way into this building. Go into crouch mode. Yep, that's where those raiders were we saw. And that's good neighbor. This is where we were headed for. Hitting vats a little bit just to see if we get any surprises. If there's anything to spot around here, I want to spot it before it spots me so I know if it's friendly or not. No, we're at good neighbor. Alright guys. I think I'm going to cut it off here, but thanks for watching like always. I'll see you next time where we're going to go into Good Neighbor and then get into someone's brains.